for that. You can just go for one, two, three, five minutes as you like, or come together the whole way together with me for 25 minutes. Like a man, dear friends. So, I've been a little bit sick lately, right now I, I'm feeling very very healthy again, so I'm super super excited to sh come back to a little bit more intense yoga lesson. And we're starting off right here right now. Let me quickly grab my um, clock and then we're starting. If you like to join in, come to a wonderful set to a wonderful sit down on the floor. Where's my clock again? My clock is hiding. Touch said he's sending you healing vibes. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm already feeling really, really good, but still some additional healing vibes. All the great. Always great. So come to a wonderful sit either down on a sitting pillow or up on a sitting pillow or up on some books. And sit up tall, tall, tall from your hips to your head. From there, breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest. Your belly first. And then into your chest. Expand your chest to the front, to the right, to the left, to the back. In all the different directions. Have your shoulder blades a little bit on your back together. And sit up tall, tall, tall. God. Welcome to this yoga lesson today. One more deep breath. And out. From here, release your hands down by your sides. And bring your hands up by your sides. Palms are pointing forward. Lift your hands up. As we're breathing in, as we're breathing out, release your hands down. Good job. And then bring your hands up again. So I'm very, very excited. So maybe you know I'm the host of the Health Skill Podcast, where we talk about all kind of like yoga things, about well-being, about masculinity, about femininity, about all these kind of things. And I'm currently in the process of setting up new, um, new podcasts and inviting people. And just yesterday I have connected with a dear friend of mine that we will talk about very very soon already in just about two weeks less than two weeks and yeah that's that's going to be amazing we're going to talk about authenticity as you bring your hands up get long from your hips to the fingers as you're breathing out release your hands down by your sides and authenticity is a big topic and we could take that topic as kind of like guidance for this yoga lesson today if you wish. If you're liking that, of course, if I'm telling something that doesn't resonate with you, you can always leave that be. Breathing out, releasing your hands down. Bring your hands to your thighs and start to move your hands forward and backward on your thighs. Connecting to your palms and connecting to your thighs. So not just feeling what's going on in your palms, but also feeling what's going on in your thighs. Good job, everybody. And from there, move your shoulders forward and upward, backward and down. Forward, upward, backward and down. Good. Today I, I think I forgot to turn the music on. 
just need to make a little quick change. Just continue like this. So as we're moving the hands forward, bring your shoulders forward. As you're moving, then bring your shoulders up and bring your hands back. Bring your shoulders back and then bring the shoulders and the hands forward again. Continue like that for a moment. As I'm just turning on one or two things, then I'm right back for you. Right back for you, dear friends. Okay. So it should be running right. Wait, it's not there yet. I didn't click on it. Okay. It's running right now. Very, very easy in the background. Good. And from here, bring your hands forward. Bring your hands forward and lace your fingers and start to circle your wrist. Start to circle your wrist. Really softly grabbing on here. It's, there's no need to grab on harsh. No need to clamp your fingers. But really, go softly and circle your wrist, your elbows, your shoulders. How are you, touch life? How are, we, how are you, young Chu Smain? Welcome in, dear friends. So glad to have you, so honored to have, have you today in this yoga lesson. Good. Circling your wrist, your elbows, your shoulders. Good. Then shake your wrist out, your elbows, your shoulders. And again, interlace the fingers, but bring the other thumb in front. See which thumb you had in front first, just the one that feels like maybe a little bit more uncomfortable. Bring that one in front right now and circling your wrist into the other direction, being playful here, exploring where you can go with your body today. Good job. Oh, shake your Wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders. Touch got a new job and he's stressed. Ah, oh, OC. What time is it in your place, uh, young choose main? Is it uh, going to be night time? Also going to be um, bed time very soon? Or what time is it? Shake your wrist out, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Almost 1 a.m.? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Oh, sit up tall, tall, tall. Letting go everything that has been going on throughout the day. Just for a moment, sitting up tall, tall, tall. Just connecting and listening to your body. How are your feet connected with your floor? Grounding yourself here. Feeling supported by the gravity of the earth. Thank you for telling me what's going on, uh, young choose me. Appreciate that. deep into your belly, into your chest. Through your nose. Every time when we are really, really bummed out about something, make sure to observe your breath. And maybe feeling anxious or stressed, make sure to observe your breath. And see if you're breathing in through your nose or through your mouth. If you're breathing in through your mouth, I highly suggest that you're trying to breathe in through your nose. As breathing in through the nose is very, very calming to us in a certain way, as you maybe think back to when you were stressed, like really bummed out about something and really like down 
then um, most likely you're sometimes breathing through your mouth and you're really like, <clears throat> no, I want to <laughs> do something or I want to change something, right? I don't like the situation. Breathing through your nose. Then as you're breathing through, through the mouth, right? Uh, as we're breathing through the nose, we can at least connect with all that is going on a little bit better. And from here, bring your right hand to your right, and we're leaning to the right. And then change around, breathing out, and leaning to your other side. to the right. And breathing out, breathing in, leaning to the left. Letting go everything that has been going on. <laughs> Just feeling your body. And you're leaning to the left and to the right. Go in your rhythm. You don't need to look at me. Go with the rhythm of your breath. So breathing in, stretching. Breathing out, changing. Good job. You're doing great. When we're leaning to one side, make sure to have the hips still connected with the floor. Right. Release. Change. And come back into the middle. Good. How did that feel? From here, let's go a little further. Let's come into all fours and take it from there slowly. If you need any kind of position, if you need any kind, if you have any kind of things going on in your body, tell me and we can work our way towards certain positions. So for example, if you have lower back pain or anything, then work towards that. We can work towards that and yeah. Otherwise, just tell me what's going on and maybe we can work towards something else. So my cat is still here, that's amazing. Normally she doesn't like it when the door is closed, so. She's just looking around a little and see what's going on. Come into all fours here. Have your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over the knees. And from here, start to arch up from your lower spine up. Vertebra by vertebra, come up. Breathing in deep through your nose again. Breathing out through your nose. Bring the chin to the chest, round down slowly. Breathing in again, come up, vertebra by vertebra, come up. And then chin to chest, rounding down. There's no need to hurry in, in yoga. Rather, we want to bring a lot of awareness, awareness into our body. And you know, sometimes it's great to push maybe a little bit faster. Sometimes it's great to go a little slower. My yoga lessons are in general a little bit slower because most of the people, most of the people teach a faster yoga style. So I like to have a little bit of slower. But sometimes we, we also go fast too here. So arch up. From your lower spine, vertebra by vertebra, coming up. Try to access every vertebra by its own. Coming up and then chin to chest. You're doing a wonderful job of caring for your body, taking care of your body. Rounding down, vertebra by vertebra down. Up again, reaching up. And then release, bring your knees by your sides, big toes together. From here, 
make sure that you don't have any kind of waist restriction going on. So if you're wearing a big belt, loosen that belt. If you wear any kind of other waist restriction, loosen that as much as you can and then reach forward in the child's pose. Bring your arms by your sides, shoulders away from your ears and breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest. It would be so fun if yeah, I could show you my cat right now. She's just like, like silently observing what I'm doing here. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. And slightly, slightly purring. <laughs> it's so funny. If it's possible, breathe in through your nose. Deep into your belly, into your chest and honoring wherever you are in this position. Maybe you're, may, maybe you're further up somewhere because you can't come down completely. That's all right. If you're anywhere else. I can't lose my waist restriction. It's permanent. What do you mean? What do you mean, Jamie? Welcome in, Jamie. Jamie had such a wonderful cooking stream yesterday. So if you don't know Jamie, make sure to check him out. Welcome in. How are you doing? Then slowly come up again. Bring your hips over your knees and start to walk forward with on your fingers. Start to walk forward on your fingers, having your hips still over your heels. Good. And plant your hands down and you reach really far forward on your fingertips. Keep your chest engaged, your belly engaged. Good. We want to find more space in your lower spine here. So we're pushing the butt out. Pushing the butt out as far as you can. Finding more space in your lower spine. Keeping the chest and the arms engaged. The fingers are pressing into the ground. You're doing awesome. We don't want to hang through at the shoulders. So not just releasing your chest down to the floor at the shoulders. Because this is just there to create hyperflexibility in the shoulders. So we want to keep our chest engaged, our arms engaged. Great. And finding more space in your lower spine. From there, slowly come up again. Whoop. Great job. Sit over your knees, shake your wrists out. I'm talking about my lovely big belly. Ah, okay. I see. I was choking it was a waist restriction as it gives me less space to go to the ground. Ah, I see there. Yeah. You know, there will be a time where, when I start um, inviting people into the, to the lesson, as uh, Tony is already in it doing over like uh, Discord. I don't know how he's doing it uh, so that I can also see like what the other people are doing and uh, that are following me around, uh, following me at my um, guidance here on the yoga lessons and my instructions. Kat is here by the way today. Jamie, I don't know if you saw, but she wants out right now, I guess. Yeah, she wants out, we're letting her out. Around. Yeah, Tony uses Zoom, Grace is using Discord. Yeah, we also will uh, set that up uh, in, in some weeks of time. But first I need to do something else. But yeah, I'm excited for that. And then uh, with my classes, there will be uh, always like a picture of the students in the back. And uh, then I, I will kind of like maybe invite just one person at a time, come in and to follow along. And then we can uh, learn from each other. Like when I correct one person, you can learn from that at the same time. Uh, if you're that person or if you're just watching, right? Bring your hands forward, push into the mounts of the fingers. Again, the mounts of the fingers are these here. The index finger mount where the index finger is connected to, right? Index finger mount. And we want to bring these mounts to the floor. 
claw the fingers a little bit and push into the mounts of the fingers. A lot, a lot. Tuck your toes in and shift your hips up into the sky. Get long, long, long from your fingers to your hips. How was your meal, by the way, Jamie, yesterday? Did you enjoy it? Push into the mounts of the fingers a lot. Claw your fingers a lot. Good job. And start to walk here. And we can, we're coming into downward facing dog and we can make it easier for you. You can come more into a plank pose slash downward facing dog position. So you can come a little bit forward and just walk a little, little with your heels up and down. Great job. I've got to put the timer on. Okay, we're just doing, going for another half hour here. Walk with your heels up and down here. Good job. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Claw the fingers a little. Good job. Awesome. How does the downward facing dog feel today? Even if you're maybe not completely in it right now. It's all right. Taking care of your body wherever you are. And from here, shift your hips a little bit more into the sky, your butt. Bring it up into the sky. My teacher always told me, spreading the butt cheeks like a flower. <laughs> here, spreading the butt cheeks like a flower. So what you want to do is turn the thighs inward and back. If that's, that instruction is unclear to, new, to you, we're going to repeat that again and again in other poses. And uh, I will explain it in other poses more. So if, if I just said it here, maybe it doesn't make sense to you at all. And that's all right. And just ignore it. Bend your knees a little bit. Get long from your hips to the fingers. From your heart to the fingers. Breathing in. Get long from the heart to the fingers. Breathing out. Releasing. Breathing in, find more space from your heart to your hips. Great. Turn the thighs inward and back if you know what I mean. Finding more space in your lower spine. Great. And release your knees slowly down. Yeah, it is great. Unfortunately, my cake was a tiny bit overcooked. It was all great anyways. Ah, awesome. Love that you had a great time yesterday with all the singing, singing things. And I didn't want to annoy you, Jamie. I was just making fun, right? Trying to have a good time. And you know the troll song. So yesterday, yeah, uh, Jamie had still like from uh, like the singing, the Twitch sing sings um, integrated into his channel point reward, right? Uh, so he could still wish for songs and then he sung meanwhile he was cooking some songs. I want to request the troll song, you know. La 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 You know that one. Okay. See how your shoulders are feeling. And I, I feel like uh, doing a little back bend here. And for that, for that, I wish that you take, take a pillow, take a pillow, take maybe something else that you couldn't put over your ankles here. And this is very much like you can do it very, very deep, but it really helps also like putting taking some accessories, uh, take, taking some helps. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't talk. Taking a pillow here to assist you. So again, what we want to do, we bring the weight over the knees, tuck your toes in, then bring your pillow over your ankles, whatever kind of pillow you have, leaning back with one hand, bringing it over the right ankle on your pillow, and then with your other hand, good. Now from there, what we want to do there, and you can have a big pillow there. It, it's really good if you have a bigger pillow here. Then we shift the hips a little bit forward. Good. 
And we have the head in line with the spine for really, really great back bend. How does that feel? Shifting the hips forward, breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. And then slowly coming back and coming up again. So bring the hips back and come up again. Good job. It's all good. I found it really helpful having you there since my bot was not giving you this card link. Okay. Yeah, I just posted the wrong link before. But then I found the right and the about section, so that's all good. <sighs> good. Let's come back into all fours. Before we go any further, before we go any further, push your shoulders out, out, out. So push your shoulders into the floor. Shoulder blades are leaving the shoulder socket. Good. And then release your shoulders down. Feel how your chest is sinking down. Your shoulder blades are coming together on your back. Feel how they're coming together on your back and then push up again. And if it doesn't make any sense of what I'm saying, just trust in it. And with some time, we'll start to feel uh, the different sensations and what's happening within your shoulders and your chest. As you release your chest down, your shoulder blades are coming back, back on the back together. Feeling that and then pushing out of your shoulders, feeling how your chest goes up a little bit and your shoulder blades are leaving the shoulder socket. Good. Great job. And from here, let's stand up. Let's stand up today. Again, transitioning yoga is half of yoga, so standing up slowly, observing every beautiful inch of your body as we're standing up. Good. Honoring our body. Shake your legs up, shake your arms. Shake your legs out and your arms. You're doing amazing, guys. Let's go. Let's do this. Shall we? So we have, before we going any further, um, we're sending lots of love out to Touch Life, to Young Choose Main, to, to uh, Jamie, or the Lone Wolf, right? Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Start to warm your hands up in front of your heart. Feeling the warmth that is created between your palms. And from there, bring your hands as soon as, as the palms are a little bit warm in front of your eyes together, having your eyes closed, feeling the warmth that is emitting from your hands. Just a little bit away from your eyes, not connected onto your face right now. Good. And from there, slowly release your hands down onto your eyes, the palms down onto your eyes. And connect the fingertips to your face, to the skin of the face. And as rain would fall down, draw your fingers slowly down, refreshing. As rain would fall down, your whole body. Draw the, draw the raindrops down your whole body and bring your hands up by your sides. Palms are pointing forward. Lift your hands up by your sides. And we are going to hug the whole world together. So we are breathing in deep. We are getting long from your feet to the crown of the head. Breathing in deep. Breathing out, releasing that length that we just found. Breathing in, we are getting long from the shoulders to the fingers. Breathing out, releasing. Breathing in, extend your fingers away from each other. Breathing out, releasing. Good, and we're doing all the three things together. Breathing in, get along from your feet to the crown of the head. Get along from the shoulders to the fingers. Extend the fingers away from each other. Think about giving the whole world a hug. Giving the whole world a hug. Get along, long, long. And then breathing out, 
and give yourself a big hug. Good. How does that feel? And if you like to smile, smile. If you don't like to smile, don't smile. But you are invited to, if you like. <laughs> you have my permission to, right? <laughs> Release your arms. And there's a little insight here, as always. One hug isn't enough. A little slogan here. Bring your top other hand on top. Give yourself another hug. You are worth it, know that. Good job. Doing great. Release your arms. Shake your arms out a little. Shake your legs out. And I don't want to push too much today, especially also um, concerning that it's very, very early for Young Choose Main, right? And Touch Life. So uh, we're going to not push ourselves too much, but rather doing a slow practice and looking just in where we can go with that practice. So let's go somewhere else right now. And I also like to do a little bit of an inversion and maybe even integrating the breathing practice into the yoga lesson today. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be awesome. Come to the front of the mat, bend your knees, hinge at the hips. You can glide your hands down on your thighs and let yourself come forward and down. From here, you can bend your knees a lot, a lot, if you need that, and shift your hips over your heels. So shifting your hips over your heels as good as you can. What happens there is that we have, will have a lot of the weight over your toes. That's all right. If, if you can straighten your knees when you're doing that, you can do that. And you can release your head more down to the floor. Release your whole spine more down to the floor. And you can grab around your elbows and just nod your head a little bit. Honoring wherever you are today. Honoring wherever you are. Know that you're doing great. Having your hips again over your heels as good as you can. So a lot of the weight is over your toes. Great job. Then bring your hands down, push into the mounds of the fingers and step back. Downward facing dog, push the hips up into the sky, butt up into the sky and then slowly come, release your knees, forward, come forward and down on the belly, release yourself in your way down onto the belly. Good. Good job. And from here, pick yourself up. Think forward and up. So you're picking yourself up a little bit. Your head is in line with the spine. Bring your arms by your sides. And we're just easy coming up. You don't even need really the arms. They're just here to give you a little tiny support. Push your feet into the ground, your knees into the ground, and draw the belly in and up, engage your belly a little. You're doing amazing. Think about creating a back bend here, as before, as we did before, a back bend again. You're feeling maybe in our back a little bit. Oh yeah, there's something going on. Good, and release. Let's come into Sphinx. Bring your shoulders or your elbows. Fingers are pointing forward and same here. But we can just stay a little bit easier and maybe go even a little bit deeper into the back bend. By pushing the feet into the ground, knees into the ground, drawing the belly in and up. Belly button in and up. Good. Your head is in line with the spine. 
So what I mean here with head is in line of the spine. You don't put your head up like that. And you're having the head in line with the spine as a natural extension of your spine. Good job. So maybe it's looking a little bit down or maybe it's looking somewhat straight. Good. How does that feel? Keep your breath flowing through your nose if possible. Know that you're doing great. Coming into your body, feel your body, feel the ground. Feel the ground, how you're connected to the ground right now. Carried by the gravity. Pushing into the ground with your hands, with your elbows, with your legs. Your knees maybe even a little, your hips, right. And maybe feeling a certain tension in your lower back. And this is great. Now, let me know, let me tell you if there's any kind of like really, really pain going on. Of course, come out of it always. But the, it feels maybe a little bit uncomfortable in your lower back and that's all right. So let me tell you what this position does. It creates natural rounding in your lower back again. These are kind of like back bend positions, what they, what they are doing, right? It creates natural back bend, uh, natural round, natural arch in your lower back. Because this natural arch is slowly going away when we're sitting a lot. So, this is amazing. And then release yourself slowly down. Make a pillow with your hands and release your head down. And really go slowly. Maybe there's some tension going on in your lower back right now. So shift your hips left and right. Left and right. Taking really, really good care of your body and releasing that tension again in your lower back. Good job. Doing amazing. Good. Slowly coming up. Bring your hands by your sides. Shift yourself up through the knees. Good. You push into the mounts of the fingers. Claw your fingers. Push your hips up into the sky. And we are extending one leg quickly up into the sky. Three leg dog. Push into the mounts of the fingers a lot and step forward with one leg. So just, just bring it wherever you can. If you can bring it further forward, bring it further forward and then walk it in a little bit forward. Now release your other knee down. If you want to put something under your kneecap, please do so. Please put something under your kneecap if you like. How was your night, by the way, Jamie? How was your night? How did you sleep? And from here, we're again cycling back and forth here in a moment. If you have some books next to you, you kind of like want to hold on, use them, or some blocks. Otherwise, if you have anything else you can hold on, use them. So bring your front leg a little bit more forward, then bring the toes back towards you. So pull the toes back towards you, and we're leaning a little forward. From your hips, straight, with a straight back, forward, finding a hamstring stretch here in your front leg, and then kind of coming forward and feeling here at the hips a stretch. Good. At your, how far can you go down forward and then come up again, draw the toes back again, and hinge forward again. Really go slow, there's no need of going really fast here. And come forward again. Stretching here. And come back. Come on. 
time. Draw the toes back towards you. Hinge at your hips. Not rounding, right? Not doing that. Uh, not doing this here. But rather, come up and with a straight back, go forward. And just honor wherever you are. If you're up here, that's all right. That's all right. Just honor where you are. And then we're changing around, bring your hands forward, pushing to the mounts of the fingers, tuck your other toe in, stepping back with the leg, coming back in downward facing dog, and feeling how your legs are feeling right now. And from here, bring your left leg up, and we're doing the other side. Bring your left leg forward, step between your hands, and we change the side here again find the right distance distance for you you're doing amazing get your belly get long and then hinge forward from your hips hinge forward from your hips you're doing good all good i just relaxed the cooking stream took a lot out of me it was a bit stressful, I'm exhausted, especially mentally low. Yeah. Yeah, I realized that you're really, really like putting a lot into it. And also kind of like wanting to react to everything from the chat. And yeah, I think I also, also would have that if a lot of what would be going on in the chat, I would also want to react to everything, you know, and kind of like put my best out there. But, yeah, you put in a lot of energy, I realized that. It's amazing, Jamie, you did a great job yesterday. Good, and then come forward. Again, if you like to put something under your kneecap, please do so. I have a soft mat here, right? And then come to the back. Draw the toes back towards you. Finding a hamstring here, and stretch here. Front. Now feeling good in your body helps you to also feel a little better in your life and maybe deal with certain circumstances in another way. You know? As we're respecting our body, as we're taking care of our body, we're also going to respect and taking care of our external life more, right? Isn't that so? Don't you think that's true? Hmm. Forward one more time. And then coming back, draw the toes back towards you. And your hamstring stretch here again. Hinge forward as, as far as you can, of course. And if you're up here with me, that's all right, you know. And of course, if you have some blocks next to you, that would also work. Good. Woo! And come forward, bring your hands on, push it to the mounts of the fingers, claw the fingers a little bit, tuck your toes in, come up and step back. Downward facing dog one more time here. Bend your knees a little bit, especially if you can't reach the floor with your heels. Bend your knees, push your hips up into the sky. Spreading the butt, butt cheeks like a flower, pushing to the mounts of the fingers, and release. Woo! Great job! Awesome! If I had a bigger screen, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm reading that in a moment. Let's come to a wall. So, dear friends, find a wall. We're going to do an, a little inversion that Jamie really likes. I also think like, yeah, this inversion really gets the blood a little bit flowing. Uh, however, I think it's really, really great, especially if you're going to bed very soon. Uh, I think it's super amazing. Uh, then we're doing a calming breathing uh, practice. Uh, it's also very great if you're going to bed very soon. And uh, then uh, we are going to mantra, uh, to sing a mantra and some meditation. If you like to join in for it, for that, feel free to. 
So come to a wall of your choice. You can use a door, you can use whatever. Uh, for, for me, I'm using a closet here, as you see. Shift your hips close to the wall of your choice and then lay back, bring your legs up. Good. And this is an inversion. So all the blood that is stuck in our toes is flowing down in our body. If this hurts you anywhere in your body, please come out of it. If this hurts you, come out of it. It's also always important that you're listening to your body. Good, and from there, if you like to go deeper, bring your elbows next to your body, push into the elbows, fingers are pointing up. Then shift your hips up. You can also stay in this. It's completely fine to stay here. You can shift your hips up, grab onto your hips and extend your legs. Great job, you're doing amazing. With your head, we're just looking up. We're not looking left or right here. We don't want to hurt our neck. This is important. So don't you look at me right now, but just look up into the sky as you're doing that. Good job. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Breathing out, releasing. And really bringing all the blood that was stuck in our toes down to our body to get reoxygenated. <laughs> Breathing in deep in your belly and your chest. You're doing great. And just looking straight up. One more deep breath. Possible through your nose. And then slowly coming down. Vertebra by vertebra. Coming down. Lying by your side for a moment, feeling how the blood, feeling how the blood flows back into your feet. <laughs> feeling, listening to how your blood flows back into the feet. It might be a tickly sensation here. <sighs> so Jamie says, if I had a bigger screen to see chat and I didn't have to keep looking down, to my phone, I feel like it would have very helpful. Yeah, it would have been very helpful. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you said that. Say that. I really, I'm really tired. Yeah. Yes. And just give yourself a break for a moment. And then, before we coming into Shavasana. I invite you to do a little breathing practice together with me. For that we need to have a clean nose as we're going to do Nadi Shodhana together. And afterwards, please feel free to not needing to join the mantra session and the meditation session, session. But of course you're invited to if you wish. But otherwise, you can very much go to bed and have a restful night of sleep. So you hear my cat meowing again. My cat is meowing uh, that loud because she doesn't hear anything anymore. She's already 20 years old and I think it's go going at 21 right now. So yeah. So come into a wonderful sit that feels comfortable to you. Maybe it's up in a chair, that's completely fine. Maybe it's down on the floor on a sitting pillow or open some books. Um, just choose your sit, whatever sit you have. Your favorite sit. Good. <clears throat> and from here, we're going to do na Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. It's important that you have a clean nose, that you're somewhat 
uh, can breathe easily through your nose. And breathing practice is here to calm yourself, to calm your nervous system. So if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling stressed, breathing practice is something that very much can help you. Of course, you still need to maybe deal with some other things that's, that are going on, right? But breathing practice will definitely help you in the short term and allow it to act upon that afterwards, maybe, if you want to. Maybe you know what I'm saying. <sighs> Find the courage and the energy to act upon and make changes in your life. If you like that, if you want that, right. So good. <laughs> You're breathing in deep through your nose and breathing out deep through your nose. In a moment we're going to start at any point in time. If this breathing practice would become suffocating to you, please feel free to come out of it. You bring the index finger and the middle finger between your eyebrows, a little bit above. If third eye says something to you, we're putting index finger and the middle finger on your third eye. If you have any kind of other variation of doing uh, uh, not or alternate nostril breathing, please feel free to do that. Good. Bring the thumb and the uh, ring finger to the bone of your nose, to the bony part of your nose, and from there draw up the nose flush. Draw up the nose flush. Good. Breathing in deep through your nose. Breathing out through your nose. One more time, breathing in very, very deep, and then we're going to start after the, the exhale. Knowing that you're just doing amazing. Closing as soon as we exhale the left nostril, and we're breathing in through the right. Closing the right nostril, opening the left and breathing out through the left. Now breathing in through the left again. Closing the left nostril, opening the right and breathing out through the right. Breathing in again through the right. Closing the right, opening the left, breathing out through the left in again for the left. Closing the left, opening the right and continue on your own. Another minute. And just amazing. Keep it up.
The next time you breathe in through your left nostril, breathing out through both nostril, opening both nostril and breathing out through both nostril. Breathing in again through both nostril. And breathing out through both nostril again. Coming back to your natural breath. Coming back to your natural breath. again if you had them closed and for a moment yeah you can also have them closed as we are going to lie down in Shavasana as you're lying down in Shavasana extend your legs bring your arms by your sides feet are facing away from each other bring your arms by your sides palms are pointing up bring the chin a little bit to your chest and just be are facing away from each other. Palms are pointing up towards the sky. Just be wherever you are. Just be. Just a minute. Enjoy your shots. Just be nothing to do here. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. Whenever you're ready, 
Draw your knees in towards your belly and shift yourself to either the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. In this side body position, release all the tension to the ground. Release all the tension and make this position comfortable for yourself. Softening the skin of the face, releasing all the tension in your tongue, in your jaw, in your neck, in your shoulders, oh the shoulders. The arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, release all the tension, the chest, and the belly, in your hips, in your whole spine, in your whole back, in your legs, in your knees, in your ankles, in your heels, in the toes. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Nurturing yourself if that really, really deep breath. Make it the deepest breath you took in today. And breathing out, feeling carried by the gravity of the earth. Lift yourself up into a final sitting position with your next breath. As you're breathing in, lift yourself up. Bring your hands in front of the heart together as soon as you arrive. No need to hurry. I honor deeply that you take care of your body with this yoga lesson, with your yoga practice. Honoring your yoga practice, bow your hand, bow your head in front of your hands, in front of your heart. I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are in the world. Namaste. We're not quite finished here. We're now going for mantra singing and for meditation. If you like to leave and do whatever is lying ahead in you, feel free to do that. We will see us very, very soon again. This is day 430 already. Today will be 431. If you like to tune in, I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. Isn't there a song? Ouch, that was loud. Ah, I'm sorry about that. Is my microphone working? Yeah. Still I have these microphone issues. Sometimes. Hope it's working. So. If you're heading out, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful night, rest well, sleep well. Otherwise, if you're staying for a little bit longer, we're going to do mantra uh, singing right now and then some meditation. So currently we're singing the Tatpurusha Rudra, Rudra Gayatri Mantra. So. Let me, let me read again what it means and then we're going to sing the mantra together. So first of all, the whole mantra goes like this. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Tanno Rudra Prachodayata Good. And the meaning of it is May we come to rely, realize that Supreme Consciousness, so meaning that becoming conscious of our consciousness, become conscious of our consciousness. Does that make sense? Good. For that, may we meditate upon the great God Shiva and to such a realization Meditation. I don't quite understand. 
<laughs> There's such a realization, meditation. May Rudra, the divine giver of knowledge, strongly impel us forward. moving in a sense forward, right? connecting to the moving forward and taking steps forward means maybe also taking steps back sometime. Does that make sense to you? Even if you go out taking a step back, we are taking steps forward as we are caring for ourselves, as we are taking a step back. It's very much needed to take then some more steps forward. Maybe it makes sense for you. Maybe it doesn't make that much sense for you, but that's how I interpret it. Maybe you're interpreting, uh, preting. Yeah. Ah, English, English is coming in the way a little bit, but you know, know what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe you're interpreting, preting it a little bit different than me. You know what I mean. So, with that said, let's sing it together. And again, there's a vibrational quality to it that travels throughout our body. And with that said, maybe it connects your throat, maybe it connects your belly, maybe it connects to any kind of other body part. Make sure that you come into a great sit. And every time you like to change your sitting position, please feel free to always, always. Good. So repeat after me first few times and then we are singing it together. Let's start. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Now repeat. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Mahadeva Yadimahi Tano Rudra Prachodayatu. I forgot again to repeat the second one, I'm sorry. Tano Rudra Prachodayatu. Again, repeat after me. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Mahadevaya Dimahi Tano Rudra Prachodayatu Tano Rudra Prachodayatu Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Tano Rudra Prachodayata. Repeat right now, all together, then we're singing together. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Tano Rudra Prachodayata. All together. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Tano Rudra Prachodayatu Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Tano Rudra Prachodayata Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi 
Prano Rudra Prachodaya Last time all together. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Tano Rudra Prachodaya Bring your hands to your heart. Bow your head in front of your heart together. Release your hands by your sides, opening up your eyes. Okay, good job. So, dear friends, you maybe see that I'm currently also a little bit struggling with like um, uh, repeating the mantras and here and there. <laughs> and sometimes I'm letting out the one repetition where I wanted to repeat it, repeat it together with me, with you. And I'm I'm honoring that fact and I'm working on that. So, um, soon it will be a thing of the past, I'm sure. So, but right now I'm not, I'm not worried too much that it will stay, that that, that will stay for too long here, but that we will be uh, moving on very, very soon and moving forward very, very soon and to, to come into contact with new challenges, right? Instead of like uh, observing the challenges that we have going on in our life right now and overcoming them slowly, trusting in the fact that we will be overcoming them slowly. There will be new challenges coming up after that we can connect with. So dear friends, let's meditate you like to join in feel free to we're going for 30 30 minutes my clock is working again i'm super excited about that and we're starting just right off with 30 minutes of meditation if you're leaving right now all the best to you have a wonderful day a wonderful night otherwise if you're joining in you can join in for one minute you can join in for five minutes you can join in very much longer However, I really, really uh, suggest to you that after the meditation that we, you are doing, you are deciding for yourself that you're doing, lie down on the floor for a moment, for five minutes, for two minutes, uh, but lie down on the floor and feel what, what's happening inside of you. Feel that you maybe want to get up and do something, but just lie down there on the floor and try to just lie down in Shavasana. So feel free to join in to the meditation right now, coming to a wonderful set of your choice. And at any point in time, if you like to change your sitting posture, please feel free to do that. Good. And all what we're doing is here, observing your breath, observing your inhale, and observing your exhale. And every time you lose the connection with your breath, Observe your thoughts. Let go softly and effortlessly of your thoughts coming back to your breath. Every time you lose the connection with your breath. And it's part of the practice. It's normal that you lose the connection to your breath sometimes. <coughs> So there's no need to judge yourself if that happens to you. That's part of the practice. You're doing amazing. You're doing just wonderful. I will be quiet right now. I'm going for 25 minutes of meditation and 5 minutes of Shavasana. If you like to join in, please do so.
slowly take one more deep breath in serving your breath and out and slowly come lie down on the floor so come to lie down on the floor extend your legs your time no need to hurry <sighs> Feet are facing away from each other. Palms are pointing up towards the sky. Tuck your chin a little bit in and just be. Feet are facing away from each other arms are lying by your sides palms are pointing up towards the sky and just be
slowly. Start to move your fingers, stretch your arms. <sighs> stretch your arms, move your fingers, move your legs. And slowly come back up. Welcome back, dear friends. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the yoga lesson today. Hope you enjoyed the yoga lesson today. Welcome in pineapple water. How are you doing? My cat is meowing a lot today. She's, she's like not hearing anything anymore. So don't worry about her. But uh, she's meowing for food and attention and she will get some all right after. So dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this yoga lesson today. We are doing yoga every day. So if you'd like to join in another time, feel free to do so. Um, yeah, yeah. This is day 430. Tomorrow will be 431. And I hope to see you there. This was Yoga with Marcel. I'm Marcel and Sean. Sean is a dragon here for entertainment, energy, motivation. I'm here for the instructions, the questions, the support. So everybody who has been joining in, thank you so much for taking care of your body. Jamie, Jamie was here. Pineapple water, welcome in, dear friend. Uh, Brizzle, welcome in. I, I saw you. I saw you there. <laughs> hope you have a great day, man. Um, who else was here? Um, whoop, in the beginning, Young Choose Main and Touch Life. Hope you had a great, great session here. And with that said, we are heading out. We will be here tomorrow again, 6.30 GMT plus one for an hour of yoga. Then some mantra singing, breathing practice and meditation. Wishing you a wonderful day. I'm wishing you a wonderful night wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you very soon again. So dear friends, have a good one. And see you around. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.